Okay, we're going to head off to the doll now in a minute, but before we do, um, I'd just like to invite um, the, uh, one of our finest poets, Paula Meehan, to read um, uh, a short extract from her poem, The Statue of the Virgin in Granard. And the great romantic poet, Percy Shelley, said that poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world. And I think this is very true in the case of Paula Meehan. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi, that great peaceful revolutionary, when asked what he thought about Christianity, said, it's a great idea, someone should try it. Um, I don't believe that we live in a Catholic country. I think we live in a barbaric, dysfunctional state, and we have to change now. When I was a young woman in my 20s, I wrote this poem. I thought it was the low point for women. I thought things could only get better, but they haven't. This is written in the voice of the Virgin Mary, and it's just the end of the poem to, to send us off on the march to the houses of government. On a night like this, I remember the child who came with 15 summers to her name, and she lay down at my feet without midwife or doctor or friend to hold her hand, and she pushed her secret out into the night, far from the town, tucked up in its little scandals, bargains struck, words broken, prayers, promises, and though she cried out to me in extremis, I did not move. I didn't lift a finger to help her. I didn't intercede with heaven, nor whisper the charmed word in God's ear. On a night like this, I rem remember the days to the solstice and the turn back to the light. O oh, sun, center of our foolish dance, burning heart of stone, molten mother of us all, hear me and have pity. Thank you.